Okay, so we're doing AI Dungeon, everybody. Yes. Uh, we're trying to record uh, with social distancing, so it should be interesting. Um, what do you want to do for our multiplayer game, Sai? Um, let's start with a fantasy, just to keep things simple. Yeah, I understand generally uh, this game works best in the fantasy. In fantasy. Um, so I'll choose my name, and then I can send you the link. Um Yes. Oh, it's interesting. It doesn't give you a um, like a who you are kind of thing, does it? Um, doesn't interesting. But, anyway. Oh, it, it, um, it doesn't single player. Yeah. That's interesting. Um, I will be Pozak uh, the Magnificent. Cool. Uh, what did you... What was the... Oh, I guess it didn't even prompt you for like a, a particular scenario, huh? Yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe, okay, maybe in premium. So, maybe in premium it has the stuff. Uh, maybe so. But yeah, this game is uh, totally free. Um, so well, the the base game is free, and then there's a premium mode that supposedly has much better features. Uh, yeah, I actually do this quite a bit on my downtime because I have a very um, let me see no word that wouldn't get me in trouble if I somehow go back to my job. Not that they'd ever watch this. Um, <laughs> I have a job which I often have a lot of downtime on, so I often just That's play fair. AI Dungeon. AI Dungeon is also a very low commitment yeah. game, you know. So when I'm, uh, yeah, sitting around waiting for my next task, yeah, pop in a couple. Okay, uh, are you are you in the game? Uh, let me get this link from you. I will. All right, I'm in the Matrix. And my okay, name I will start us off. Will be Super Judge. Jude. Super Judge. Super Jude. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Super Jude, great. It'll be Pozak the Magnificent and Super Jude. Yep. Our story begins with a group of adventurers living in the medieval kingdom of Larion. The kingdom is filled with small villages and thatched cottages, and has been relatively peaceful until now. The adventurers are on a quest to find the magical staff of Zelos. They walk through the forest and notice a band of mountain dwarves. The dwarves are friendly and offer them food and drink. Then one of the dwarves turns to them and says, Hey, you people never did speak to us in the forest, did you? We have a lot to talk about. So all of these scenarios, at least for the base game, are the same until like the last line. Or they start you off the same pretty much. Um... Uh, we have a lot to talk about. Um... Okay, so basically this works with uh, so you, basically these three options. So you can do, you can say, or you can just say what happens next in the story. Right. So, um, and uh, Sai was telling me earlier, it generally works best if you say things in second person. Yeah. So I would say uh, you uh, punch the, the dwarf in the mouth or whatever it is, uh, rather than like pose significant or I. So in this case, I'm going to use the uh, say, and um, uh, what do you want to talk about? No, I don't think that's. I don't think that's good. Um, I'm gonna <laughs> say. Um, uh, you never did speak to us in the forest. Um, why should we talk to you? Man, are you a dwarf racist in this game? <laughs> I don't know, maybe. Right. <laughs> cutting up a... Oh, you know, <laughs> says the dwarf, cutting up a troll horn, and it's not worth the time. Uh, so I believe in this game you can also just like hit enter, and it will continue with the story. But um, if you if you want, you can intervene. Would you like to read? Uh, Super Jude shows off how much taller he is than the dwarf. Look at my sword and back to me. Okay, but you didn't answer my question. I don't know who's saying anything. <laughs> you people never talk to us. We're pretty busy, says Super Jude. Oh, I guess that means that the dwarf was saying the other thing. Yeah, but... Uh, uh, yeah, so I guess the dwarf was saying, look at my sword and look back to me, as if he's like, well, you're taller than me, but I have a cool sword. No, that's, that's you that said that. Um, 
he said, look at my sword. And he says, okay, but you didn't answer my question. And no, I'm super confused. Okay. Um, I accidentally hit the hit the redo button. Sorry. Okay. I'm, uh, I, oh, did you do this? Super Juju shows off his cool sword. Okay. Yeah. Cool blade. Yeah, but so what do you want to talk about? Asks Pozak. Pozak. I'm Pozak. Giant spiders. Oh, okay. uh, they they um impose some speech on me. I see. <laughs> um and I love giant spiders. Really talk to the giant spider. Wow, <laughs> rude. Oh, you mean because of all the times you saved my life when you live in the forest? Yeah. What, what is happening? I guess he was our um, neighbor in the forest and saved our life a lot, okay. and we were ungrateful. And he'd rather talk to the giant spiders. Um, do you... okay. Was like and it says, do the spiders have a lot to say? Well, no, well really. not really. <laughs> then, then no. Okay, then what about okay. that really rich lady who has been kidnapping people for years? Um, that's not us. Oh, uh, who is this uh, lady? I think we. Sh <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know her name. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. She's like really rich. Well, that could be a good oh, reason. That to could be her. <laughs> what? Another druid dwarf joins the pair. <laughs> Wait, there's three doors now. Where do all these <laughs> doors so keep weird. coming from? Okay, um, um, she's like character. really rich. Newcomer says, "I'm here to form an alliance with your group. We want to drive the humans off our mountain." Sure, humans. Are, are we dwarves? Can eat my shorts. <laughs> I guess I'm not a human. I like humans. I like humans. I have more friends among humans than other humans. <laughs> um, um, here, you take the next line. Yeah. Um, so we want to drive the humans so we off have, our mountain. We have like three or four potential quest lines we could look into. Yeah. I guess. I mean, yeah. How did this start? Uh, so he he was. We want to find the magical staff of Zalos. Oh, that's right. Maybe the super uh, super rich lady has it. Yeah, I guess. Um, let's. Um, <laughs> Done our name. Uh, I'm going to say. Uh, oh, man. Tries to track down Lich Lady. Who are you? My name is. I guess we found her. My name is Hinksaw. Hinksaw. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. <laughs> You're a liar. I am not. I, I want your alliance? Well, Who says that? I guess us. Is that me? Welcome, Hinksaw, to the party. Okay, but we're not going to be able to drive the humans off. I don't care, we can do that later. Go back to planning your defense. Are we dwarves, you think? I have no idea, man. Um, I mean, we could be a other non-human, or we could just be humans that hate humans. Hang saw. Do you know anything about the... What was it? Kidnappings? Staff of oh, Zalos. Staff of Zalos. Yes, tell me. I don't know where it is. Why do you want? Why do you want? The king needs it to charge. Needs it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, um. What do you know? About the staff. It can be pretty. Uh, you you sometimes have to take a little bit more charge in the story because it can get uh, circular if you don't. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Doesn't know where it is. Okay. Maybe we should say, um, okay, you, let's, you could just ask him, like, what do you know about the stuff? That's all right. I, I'm going to scout out the human camp. Okay. Multi 
first on our quests. <laughs> I want to see the, their camp. Do you even know how? Super S like doing this stuff this. like this. You copy Super? <laughs> okay, but I'm really scared. There's, I think there's too many characters now. And it's getting us too many mm -hmm. lives. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. um, charges into the human 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 how do I spell human human <laughs> Kim was oh, that's fine I won't look back reckless oh man I can't type today abandon <laughs> charges into the human camp with reckless abandon no 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 we don't want any of your sort here human I said get out super quickly backs out of the tent and fucks the rest of your party <laughs> Okay, yeah, that didn't work. I guess I was too cowardly to do it by myself. Um. Um. Uh, um. See, I got scared. <laughs> Let's go, says you. You leave the camp and begin heading down. Okay, I guess we're getting. Okay. I guess we're just demanding the mountains to the humans. Okay, um, I'm going to, um, it looks like the Midian big for the staff of Zalos at the bottom of the mountain. I predict we're I predict not going to find anything. Oh, yeah. Doors made this entire mountain into a strong fortification and some sort of religious site to their god. Okay. Um, <laughs> Even if they left some sort of hidden interest, it would be a highly unlikely we'd find it. Good point. Um, we I'm gonna say you try to find the hidden entrance <laughs> to the mountain, or whatever. Just find a hidden entrance. I've been gonna try and use my pixie dust on the mountain. Sure thing. You take a small vial of pixie dust from your pack and offer some to your companions? I guess we just hit enter? Yeah, you can put enter and it will continue the story. Um, take some. No thanks, says Super. I've had enough of fairies for one day. Me too, adds Hank. Man, we're <laughs> apparently a, a pair. Um, okay. Uh, what do I do? I guess I just you do use something forceful. <laughs> the pixie dust on the mountain. Okay. Pixie dust sprinkled over the mountain. You think you can hear some noise, but it's very faint and you can't be sure. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Dig um, where Pozek found the noise. Found the noise. With my super pickaxe. TM. I do love that in this game, you can just like make stuff up, like. Except for it has rejected my mining ability. <laughs> I'm not going to question your grasp of mining techniques, but I think we should just leave this for the professionals. Fine, says Super. Super has no idea what you're even talking about. Let, <sighs> let the door mine their way. Into the <laughs> fortress, please. You follow Super <laughs> as well as pickaxe and skillful efficiency. Okay, I did it anyways. <laughs> the entrance the to the door's fortress is open. Yeah, finally, and you find yourself standing correctly inside a large tavern. You are in standing inside a large tavern with several dwarves shouting and drinking. What the hell? <laughs> um, hold on. I'm going to say something. Okay. <laughs> um, what should I do next? Like the it says, Seek the staff of Zayla, surrender it or die. The pixie dust must have worn off by now, says Hank. Hank? Let's get the heck Hank, out of Hank. here. Let's get the heck out of here. You start backing out the tavern as the dwarves continue drinking. Why do we keep running away? 
Um, okay, I'm just gonna burn the place down. <laughs> sure. You're gonna burn down the um, inside of the mountain? Yep. Okay. <laughs> uh, burn down the cavern. You throw fire at the tavern, which quickly begins to burn. You continue to back out the tavern as flames begin to lick your legs. Come on! Come on! Says Ang. Uh, continue into the next chamber, seeking the staff of Zelos. <laughs> Man, you really have to keep this uh, AI on track. <laughs> As you enter the next chamber, you find a large group of dwarves beating a man who is chained to a pole. Nearby, you see a group of similar men chained to the same pole. Okay. They... It seems like the dwarves are the jerks here. <laughs> Maybe not the humans. Super Juice <laughs> says, It seems like the dwarves are jerks here. Maybe not the humans. Let's just leave this hang. <laughs> So I wonder if suddenly turned and noticed you. Who the hell are you? I said, Hank, get the hell out of our party. All you want to do <laughs> is run away. Hank turns, grabs the girl, and kisses her passionately. I'll be seeing you soon. Fine, says the dwarf angrily. <laughs> I, I, okay. What? I mean, I guess... Um... Uh okay. Okay. Uh um, do do you wanna go? Your your turn. Okay, um We need a staff, please. Stop <laughs> stalling. You make your way close to the chain men and notice one has really long hair. Hey, you say. Doors begin kicking and hitting hitting the chain man, but cease their abuse when they notice you. Um, okay. That's not cool. Be nice to your friends. Hey, you shout. Hey, you shout. Dorf stop beating the chain man and look at you. What? Asked one of them. You like long blonde hair? Are, are they asking us that? I think one of us is asking that. Um, use um, my... Hair entanglement spell to grow <laughs> my super hair out and entangle all the dwarves. Well, wow, repeat my name a lot. <laughs> you levitate into the air and grab hold of all the dwarves' hair with your hair. <laughs> you quickly grow it out, entangling all the dwarves. You begin to squeeze tightly, and the dwarves cry in protest. Okay. Um, um, I guess I'll be the muscle and the intimidation. You get for being a bully. <laughs> what do you know about the? No, just I guess. Um, give me the staff of Zalos. That, that's what we're doing, right? Zalos. What class yes. do you think I am? Based on my actions so far. Um, <laughs> I guess you're a sorcerer. Sure. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Don't play, sir, but you know very well what I'm talking about, says Hank. The staff of Zalos, comma. Uh, continue, I guess. I guess. Says Pozak. I'm not playing your game, says Super. Why did we get in an argument all of a sudden? You need to stop and get dumb appetite, says Hank, or give me the staff. Wait a second. Um... Hang Super and Pose. Do you have the staff? Kick, kink. <laughs> yes, but I really not say it. What? <laughs> Do you have the staff the whole time? Don't bother to Super. I have it. Okay. Wait, what? Wait, I, I got it. Kick Hank out of the group and steal his staff. What, what are you doing? Says Hank angrily. You can't take my staff, says Super. Neither one of you deserves it. Um, okay. I'm gonna, um... Um... Chain... You chain Hank 
hang <laughs> up to the wall to think in, in, <laughs> say, think what you've got congested that's how you say it yeah what was like chains hang to the wall and takes a stab of his halos thanks to say this is really <laughs> to speak it's really limited by the chains you and your sarcasm okay. this is why we're taking the stuff and leaving you here with all these tiny nerds. <laughs> what, says Hank? I said, you and your sarcasm. I don't understand. Don't play stupid. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, let's just, let's, let's continue this somehow. Um, okay. Um, let's go out of the mountain. Okay. You go out of the mountain. And return to the forest. Oh, that's exactly what we want to do. Okay, good <laughs> idea. Now let's go. Okay, great. Um, we're taking it to the king, okay. I guess, for some reason. That's what they said to recharge his ring. All right. Um, go ahead. <laughs> uh, you travel to the king. You and your friends travel to the king's castle. Who are our friends? If Hank's still with us, I'll be so pissed if Hank is still with us. <laughs> when you arrive, several guards run up to you. How did you get past us? Asked one of the guards. Uh, we haven't yet! I'll say... I was so super, you didn't notice me. We are... We are on a quest from the king. Let us... In, please. Winky face. <laughs> uh, how do I winky face? West. Are you, super, super asked one of the guards, are you inside that thing? Yeah, says super. Let the men, says Hank. Why are you here? Why are you here, Hank? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody likes you, Hank. Hank. I'm getting um, okay. sick of your shenanigans. <laughs> Again. Fine, said so Grumbles, but be better I can outline. The guards let you inside and begin to enter the castle. So this is the king's castle, says Lucy. Lucy, our friend, she's been with us the whole time. <laughs> she's just been very quiet. Um, okay, yeah. I like your blonde hair, Lucy. Oh, that's uh, dangerous. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Thank you, says Lucy. I do my best. Hey, says Super. She didn't mean it in a bad way. She meant it in a good way. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> Let's move on. Um, uh, you find the king. Start to walk through the castle. Suddenly you see a throne room. The king must be in there, you say. Well, let's just search one room at a time, says Hank, who we cannot lose no. for the life of us. Um, wait, I got, let me, oh, let me, lad. just a second. Okay, you're gonna go, okay. Uh... Oh, dang it. <laughs> A boulder falls and squishes Hank. Everyone continues on. Hank, you say, are you okay? Uh, a door slams open and you hear a voice. Uh, you, can just... you killed my son, the voice says. No. He's still alive. We tried, though. Though. Shut up, said Hank, stepping on it. I think you'd better stop him, says Lucy. <laughs> okay. Um, Wait. Um, let's let's just ignore this and keep going to the king, I think. Okay. <laughs> um, you go in the door where the king is. And the AI really wants to make Hank the main character of the story. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> You enter the door and see a throne on a raised platform. Two figures are seated on the throne, the same throne. One of them is the king, but he looks so old you can't tell who the other is. 
Man, don't you hate it when you look so old that you just, like, no one can tell who anyone else is? <laughs> King, we brought the stuff for your chargeable ring. Thank you, says the king. Uh, but I asked you before, are you sure my son is alive? Okay, apparently Hank is the prince. Okay, sure. Um, yeah, he's, here's Hank. <laughs> the king looks in the direction of the boys and sees Hank stepping out. Father? Father? Yes. <laughs> the old king begins. The old king begins to smile. I guess we do nothing. My son, he says. I thought you said your name was Casimir, says Hank. It is. It is, but to me and my son, it's Jack. Jack's son. <laughs> um. Continue. I guess. Okay, says so Bozak, you ain't gonna No. Oh. <laughs> Hank, why are you still here? Why can't we get rid of Hank? Okay, the rest of this adventure is dedicated to killing Hank somehow. Um, okay. Um, I guess we go back to the humans and we leave Hank for death to the humans. Okay. Uh, okay. You travel <laughs> with Hank, Lucy, and Super back to the human camp. Is human capitalized? Yeah. Whatever. I mean, not usually. Probably how much they love each other. You, what? I certainly hope so, says Hank, seeing as my life's on the line. Oh. Sure is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At least we yeah, okay. have the camp. <laughs> if you guys know, you ask your identification. You showed them your stuff, which we, I guess, took after charging the ring. Or did we not even charge <laughs> yeah, the ring? So. Tell them you're completing my cure quest. They let you in. Um, okay, cool. Can you let Hank stay here in chains, maybe? <laughs> sure thing, Chief, says the guard. Thank you, Hank says. <laughs> to your turn. So, ask Hank, what happens now? You want to decide Hank's face? Tate? You stay here forever, and we live happily ever after uh, without you. You stay here forever. Oh, I, I, <laughs> I thought you said you'd rather die than you'd prove. I would, but I'm not going to go without a fight. Okay, I guess I'm going to fight him. Um, attempt to stab Hank uh, real good. Okay, we're on the same wavelength here. <laughs> stab Hank 37 times with the spear. Hey, is Hank pulling his sword out and taking his spear butt to the side? See, I knew you could still win, Lucy says. Okay. I'm also going to stab Hank. Um, okay, I've got another one lined up. You stab okay. him in the back, he falls to the ground, you run your sword through his chest, and he kicks you off of him. He pulls the spear out of his body, then throws it aside. Okay, uh, let's try again. <sighs> Jude stabs Hank 38 <laughs> times with a trident. Hank pulls out another dagger and stabs you two in the neck. He falls to the ground, coughing up blood. What's going? He says, before he too is defeated. Okay. Yay! Berry. I was just about to say that, yeah. You berry. I don't know how to spell berry. You are what? You, right? Yes. Um, Hank in the ground in his beloved homeland and hold a um, minimal <laughs> memorial. All right. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's yeah. What... I think that's what we'll do. Is you say, no, wait. Yeah, let's go. You, Lucy, and Hank Lucy. return to your opponent for a hero. <laughs> I guess we're bringing his body. Sure, we'll we'll interpret it that way so we can 
say the scenario's over. Okay. Okay. Good job, Mark. So, um, that's the end, I guess. The end. You have gone from a prisoner to a great hero. We were prisoners, apparently. Sure. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, you want to try one more scenario? Maybe a different. Yeah, okay. sure. Okay, just uh... Uh, multiplayer. Um, I guess horror. Why not? Our our channel is supposed to be relatively about horror. Oh, uh, that was at some point a premise we had, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> uh, and then I guess we'll do mansion. Yeah, why not? Um. A group of friends are exploring your band's mansion. Okay, so I will be Red Davis. You say Rad? Yes. Okay. A group of friends are exploring an abandoned <clears throat> mansion. As they enter, they notice the faint smell of a fire burning and sheet, sheet covered. covered furniture litters the dusty floor. They make their way through the mansion and hear the sound of footsteps on creaky stairs. Mm. Just then, the doors to the room slam shut. Um, <laughs> thanks. They try not to panic as the footsteps move towards them. Then the silence begins to get louder and louder until, hello? Friends look around and see a young woman in a white dress standing in front of them. Um, hello, asks one of the friends. I don't know what you want me to say. I'm overwhelmed by your kindness. Please take a seat. Uh, you find seats and tea for the new guest and your friends. <laughs> friends try to find seats, but they are caked in dust and the rug is old and worn. Some of us, as some of you, sit down. Others stand guard as others look for chairs. Um, okay, it's um. I think I lost the plot, Sai. Um. Well, there's a spooky young woman. No, no, I meant, I think I made the game lose the plot. Okay. That's okay. Uh, we'll get around to it. Oh, I, I know, I can. Ah. Uh, there, now something spooky happened. Oh, dear, you found the old cobweb indeed, the ghost says. You <laughs> give a gentle shake off your head and blink a few times to get rid of the cobwebs, but she ignores you. Okay, well, this is becoming a very unspooky horror. Um... <laughs> Um, okay. So she's a ghost. Um. You got something? I've never met a ghost before. It must be scary being a ghost. The ghost looks at you and puts her hand to her mouth. Oh no, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you. You've just found our little hideout. Tee hee. Okay. Who is... Our the oh, the tense doesn't make this work as well as it usually does. Who is our <laughs> ghost? Looks around, and leans in. You the entity you're looking at is Illamon. She whispers. <laughs> I'm Illamon. Nice to meet you. You <laughs> we've been friends. You were the ghost. <laughs> yes, the ghost. Yes, the. <laughs> Okay. Who's speaking? I guess. Okay. We'll say it's you. Um. Okay. I guess I'm a ghost too. Um. What should we do? Um, do you want to haunt us? Haunt. Brad Davis. We had a bunch of other friends too. Supposedly. Help! You scream. Alien quickly appears inside you. Uh, Illumin is here now, and she's going to help you. He says. Putting her hands on your shoulder. I, were you supposed to be a woman? Oh, that was supposed to be the woman. Illumin is here, and she's. Oh, okay. No, I'm. I'm so confused. Um, I guess. I guess Illumin is apparently a woman. That's fine. How are you I'm, I'm going cool to help me, Illumin? Illumin. Illumin's ghostly gaze turns to you. Just give me a sec. This may be a little surprising. Oh my gosh. Are you gonna surprise me? Um, I love surprises. What should I do? Um, <clears throat> we, I'll 
I'll think about what our other friends are. Um, okay. Uh, your friends, Johnny Rags, Jess Big Wig, and Susie Camper Nickel, join the conversation. So who are you? asked Jesse. Illuman looks at each of them as they look nervously at their feet. I'm Illuman, okay, she says. Okay, surprising. <laughs> okay. First, Rand Davis, in order to make him as large as a house. Surprise! Oh, no. Edmund raises her arms up. Edmund raises her arms and brings them down. A line of pure black ooze appears on the floor. Um, uh, continue? I guess first through the house? Like, you're wearing it like a suit, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Rad Davis bursts through the house like Rad Davis is wearing it like a suit. The liquid quickly hardens and turns to stone. You hear a startled yell from one of your friends. A large stone figure kicks over a small table and looms over the group. Oh no. Well, I'm super big now, so uh, pick up the relatively large but not to you stone figure and toss it like a mile. <laughs> Um, you pick up the stone statue and throw it into a wall. The stone crashes to pieces. Its hard exterior didn't get it all. Defeated. I guess. Okay. Um, <laughs> want another surprise? Little man raises up her hands and something like smoke appears. It takes the form of a dragon made of pure black flames. Watch your face. <laughs> Um, what if I just pick up all my friends and let them ride on my shoulders where dragons can't hurt them? I really wasn't intending this to be like <laughs> a terrible <laughs> solo DM thing. Yeah. Thing. You pick up your friends and grab their hands. Oh, Come let's, on, let's go find wings. <laughs> You follow an element out of the library. Actually, as you admire the architecture of the building. I mean, it's kind of hard to do since I'm in the building right now, but... <laughs> okay, I'm going to shrink you back down to size. Okay. <laughs> um, you end the curse in... Uh, Rad Davis is normal-sized. Uh, the dragon vanishes... Finishes two. Illuman looks around. The curse is over, <laughs> but you still got the stamina of a horse. You're back to normal size again. Cool. Thanks. I guess. <laughs> Question mark. Illuman nods. Of course. Now you can tell me what you were looking for in the library. Um. Um. Well, as you know. I'm the ghost librarian for after hours booking, book reading. Wasn't this finding. an abandoned house? Um, oh, uh, yeah, I was looking for a book called Necromancer's Annihilation. I need a reference for an assignment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, that's a real popular one. Um, how, uh, uh, we have a copy on, uh, a copy in, um, pile, uh, what's, what's the spookiest thing? Um, um, the spookiest what? Library thing? <laughs> no, hold on. Uh, aisle 666, uh, in the... No, they're not numerical. Okay. 
uh, aisle 666 in the Wait, spooky how section. Many, how many libraries? How many aisles are there? I don't know. <laughs> it literally leads you to the scary section. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to lie. We are probably all coming here to smoke pot or something. I don't want to do homework. <laughs> um. I wouldn't worry about that if I were you, Illumin says. Good to know you say. You walk down the aisle, Illumin leans in close to you. Well, up. Hold on. I accidentally read okay. that. Uh, uh, okay. So hold on. Um, curse um, Rad Davis. Okay. That's okay. Um, curse Rad Davis so that he never has to do homework again. Oh, no. That sounds like Here. a real monkey ball situation. <laughs> yeah. Eleven raises her hand up and some sort of black glowing mist appears and rises over you. You feel a dark cloud descend over you, making you feel depressed and hopeless. Must be a Monday. <laughs> <laughs> when you look at your friends, all four of them are now ghosts with dark clouds hanging over their well, heads. That sucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gone. <laughs> Guess we all have crippling depression now. <laughs> no, just me. I'm a fighter, you say. You grab a nearby chair and smash it over a ghost head. It goes down. Ha! I did it. Okay, hold on. <laughs> oh, dude, that was your friend. Um. Remove the curse so that everyone is not every is normal. And you're real fickle ghost, Mark. <laughs> uh, but um, now everyone has to do um, their na neighbor's work instead. Walk up. Oh, dude, that was your friend. You walk up to me. That's enough. You caused all this because you're being a lazy <laughs> uh, dick, I guess. I am reformed. Thank you, ghost. <laughs> I think I spelled neighbor wrong. Whatever. Now you've gone too far. <laughs> you let the ghost go and Illumin disappears again. Is that who me or you, you think? I have no idea. You can't stop me from stopping you, I say as I disappear. Uh, hold on. Uh, one, one more thing. Okay. Uh, enjoy the necromancer's annihilation. Grab the book from the shelf. As you turn to leave, you bump into Illumin. Who's floating near the ceiling? Oh, sorry. I thought you were. Well, okay. Bye. Great, now I'm late for my last class, you say. You run down the hallway towards your last class. You have economics with Mr. Frank. Uh, story. And that was the scariest thing of all. <laughs> the AI doesn't know what to say. Okay, we beat it. We beat the AI. We won. All right. Yay. We won. Thanks for reading. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Thank you for uh, doing this story with me, Mark. Yep, it was, I would say, perfect. So all the classic points of the hero journey 
Um, the, the part where I think it was a real scary, a real scary story. Yeah. I mean, nothing's. I'm, I'm not sure this one's appropriate for children. Yeah, well, you know, give them nightmares. Yeah, nothing scarier than a our theories of economics in this country. Mm hmm. Um. Okay. I guess uh, we'll probably call it there. Yeah. 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 Goodbye. Happy Halloween. Ooh. <laughs>